Also in Washington, D.C., the debate over the proposed changes to the so-called gypsum rule continues to rage. So what are members of Congress saying about the anticipated USDA ruling? We have more in this week's Cattlemen's Capital Concerns. I think it's just another example, again, of going forward with uh, in areas that, that the what we wind up with is not the intent that started out with. And so often there's unintended consequences with these things. But I think it really does have the, the ability to impact uh, cattle producers uh, you know, in, in a very negative way if we're not careful. I, I think that competition is, is uh, the highest priority really that we should have in, in terms of ensuring competition. That's good for consumers. That's, that's good for producers. Uh, but what, I, what I'm very uh, cautious about is, is engaging in new bureaucracy uh, that becomes uh, so complicated that it actually doesn't even meet the objective uh, of more competition, uh, but really it's growth in government and intervention in the marketplace that, that ultimately doesn't help consumers or producers. My hope is we'll hear something more definitive in the not too distant future, but just a lot of problems here. It looks to me like they've exceeded authority. They don't have an economic study. I mean, I could go on and on. There's problems with what they're trying to do here with this gypsum rule. But also for me, it's a quality issue. You know, it's not so much that we need to have a one size fits all across the, across the industry. You know, I like a good steak just as much as the next person. And, you know, if we have a one size fits all, you know, you, you might be crowding out the people that specialize in certain kinds of beef and, and, and the way that they produce their product, you know, this is a capitalist society. Let's reward those and let's let people branch off into different ideas and different ways uh, of being able to produce, um, you know, the beef the way that they, they do and, and, not, and not just try to come up with some one-size-fits-all that, that I don't think anybody wants. We've asked the USDA some tough questions on their GYPSA proposals and one of the big questions we've said is for years USDA, unlike the EPA, USDA has been somewhat of a friend and an advisor to farmers. You go to the FSA offices and you can get information. The people who work there are your friends. They agree with you on most issues, but suddenly now the USDA is moving towards an antagonistic view. And these GYPSA ideas presume that you're guilty of price fixing unless you, uh, you can prove otherwise. They're um, regulatory overkill and they're designed by inside the beltway bureaucrats not people in america's heartland who've been on a farm and know what they're doing so they're getting lots of comments and they're going to come out with the rule and i can say this as the chairman of the ag appropriations committee if we feel that they've overstepped their boundary we will be authoring a legislative solution that will repeal some of their proposals Engage in the fight against the proposed gypsum rule by joining the National Cattlemen's Beef Association. Call us at 1-866-USA-BEEF or visit us online at beefusa.org.